Hey folks, how's it going? Red Mash here and welcome back to another edition of Ranked with Red, where today we're bringing in a deck other than Nature's Necromancy for the first time in like three months. And of course, I'm talking about Purple or Red Rakanoff for today's video. Now, I don't remember the last time I ranked this in Ranked with Red, so I'm not sure what our current gauge is. It's been doing fairly mixed overall since i think the last time we posted it's had some strong seasons others not so much uh so we're looking to see if maybe we can replicate a more stronger season for this list but without any further ado we do have some games to get to so let's go ahead and jump right into game number one all right folks match number one starting off uh unusual showed in rack in the opener and no units to start off this game uh, except for rack who decides to come back all right, gonna be one of those games here. Um, yeah, this is this is gonna be a weird one. Oh, that's a Masuda. I'm kind of just okay doing a Flamestorm though instead. Kind of prevents his aim from doing more damage uh, rather than risking the 50-50 off the Masuda. That could be pretty bad for us if we do, so let's do that. Um, I guess we'll just Masuda to pass here. I mean, a wizard's a wizard. I'm not going to throw my Masuda into it, per se. Rider, Jack. All right. A little early aggression, isn't it? Hmm. Guess we can do this. At the end of the world, if it hits the Banshee. No, it doesn't hit the Banshee. I'll still be able to kill it, so I don't think it matters to fear it back at this point. All right. Yeah, this is a, this is just weird. We're not really pulling what we want. Getting weird like armory pulls, which is, you know, sure. And their spell. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's a pretty big value. Uh, we'll just go with the. Oh. oh well, that's fucked. Oh, that's not good. When the armory is misclicked. Oh, shit. Uh, I mean, this is still fine. I don't think we're dead here. Okay, there's wizard being an asshole. Thank you for that. Uh, Fear. See if I can pull into the hand here. Mordok. All right, that's fine. Put the necromancer up here. I'll put the lumberjack down here see what happens the mordok is actually pretty big we can do a lunging attack turn nine to set ourselves up for a rack of turn 10 so i'm hoping that maybe we can just manipulate our board a little bit to just get to that specific position all right dark bender dark bender is 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 dark bender dark bender is dark bender not gonna not gonna lie there uh okay i think this is fine here i'll just pop into this i think this is fine i'll just keep everything like that for now we do have a backup armory now in case we lose uh one of them so that's good oh that's such huge value Oh, why would you give that to me? Uh, all right, let's see what I can pull off the fear here real quick. Ooh, that's not bad, actually. All right, so let's go ahead and do a couple of sneaky, sneaky things here. So we're going to get the Drake here. Masuda here. 
Lumberjack here and pass. If the Masuda survives, we can decrease Raka to turn not or to nine gold, which hopefully should be pretty big. He should focus on. Uh, okay, don't do that again. Okay, this is this is fine. This is fine. Just put a couple of bit bops and burns. That's fine. Just don't. No. No, that's so. Uh, that's not very cash money of you. All right. Well. Shit, there is really like no point in doing what I wanted to do now with that. Uh, crap. Crap on a cracker. That is not good. I mean, I could just rack a, but the rack doesn't accomplish a hell of a lot. I think what I should go for here is just. I mean, and pray, honestly, like ugh, we, we just got put in such a bad position because of that fear. No, why would you burn the Mordok? I need that for my rack of sacrifice. Ah, oh, man, oh man. Okay, and unsurprisingly, we burn the Mordok. It's literally free, so yeah. Don't you dare do what I think you're about to do. That's more than okay. That is more than okay, King. More than okay with me. Big Raka. Big Raka clear. I mean, sure, we lose the... We, we lose the... um, What's it called? We lose the armory buff, but this is still pretty funny. Okay, that's no longer funny. I gotta deal with another goddamn Kraxus. Thanks, game. Appreciate you. Appreciate you and everything that you do. All right. Uh, I guess in this scenario here, we're just running. Uh, we're running Door Knight here, I guess. Sure. Door Knight, Keep of the Doorway, whatever he's called nowadays. I can't remember which is which. I don't think he has enough burn power to pop Dark Bender. If he does, massive, massive fuck you to Kraxus, but. Oh, fuck it out. Never mind, he does. Yep. I mean, when when the cards are played, baby. Lord on. Cracks is such a middle finger card, bro. He really is. Um. I guess we'll just do this. I'm under no incentive to push right now. I mean, I think I could actually just move up the keeper one space up. It still avoids the cracks, so I'm not bent out of shape about it. If he wants to pop the Banshee in for it, go. I can take a free unit. Not mad about it. Spell for a unit, if you will. But nah, man, this cracks us. The cracks that I, this game, put in such stupid levels of work here. Okay, and there's Arbiter number two, and there's, yep. There's this punk. Man, this game really just decides to bend me over sometimes, doesn't it? Uh, oh, that is fascinating. That is very, very fascinating. There is a Shodan. I think that's okay. I'm hoping to maybe get some big value out of this Shodan right now. I doubt it, but we're going to try for it. All right, there's the pop. Getting the Masuda. Good. 
that's fine. We put the Banshee in? No, putting the Mordok in. Ooh, Mordok is pretty nasty. Oh, please don't tell me we have enough to pop the No, we have enough to pop the Shoden. Are you kidding me? No, are you kidding me? Game. You no. Game. Are you for real? Oh my god. And he gives him another arc fire! What the fuck is up with that, bro? What's good with that? Holy hell, bro. What? In tarnation, did I witness? Take three to the face, bro. Oh my lord. Two arbiters into the. Oh my lord. The showdown was a big comeback, and we still actually have time to do another one. But man, that was stupid brutal. Stupid brutal. Flamestorm. Yeah, sure. We should have enough burns to kill me. If not this turn, the next turn type of thing. Damn. He has enough to kill me next turn. Hey, uh, well, I mean, we tried. Smile. We tried, smile. We can do that and pass. He's probably just going to burn me out with something else, and that is not something we can block. Ah, stupid RNG, baby. It's lovely how some of these games finish off for me. I swear, man. Oh? Shit, did we actually... Oh, did I mess this up? Oh, the show actually ends it. Oh, shit. We might have just walked away with it. Ho! Oh, we just walked away with it. <laughs> oh, that's should not have been my win. What was his hand bricked up with at that point? That's wild. Anyway, folks, that was... Game number one. How is, uh, is game, uh, the rest of the game is a top, but I have no idea. Let's go ahead and find out. All right, folks, and game number two, as we've got, uh, let's swap away the armor. Let's say we got a good hand here, but we're going to swap away the armor. Ooh, much, much better. Me like the faithful and the, oh my Lord. Um, context, looking outside and a whole bunch of snow just dumped all over the place. Anyways, uh, faithful Jake probably going to be the opening play we're going to make here. He's got lumber to open. That's fine i'm actually not bothered by that uh if he wants to smack into face he's more than welcome to yeah hi hello lumberjacks how you doing uh they'll meet faithful i'm gonna go faithful over the other options like masuda or banshee because faithful drake has this the ability to last a bit longer on the board things like uh burn can't kill it smith is close but still not enough which is fantastic for us here and i think at that point we can safely throw out something like a Banshee. We'll get Banshee to kind of get some more resources going for our hand here. That seems like a fair choice. And we've got a lot of good options here for moving into the game. We have a Blacks of our own to contest the Globals. Burn. Bender to control the board here. I think I do need an Undead unit, which might be a little iffy on sending the Banshee out at this point. But I think we'll probably find another one at the very least in the future. So what can I say? All right, Smith going up, Armory going down. That is fine. That is a prime target for us to just simply pop with the... Hmm. Do I pop it? I think for now we actually go Blacksmith and go into face a little bit here. Reason being, I want him to kind of just assume we don't have a remove for the, uh, for the Armory. At the very last moment, we can then pop it, affect this whole board state, etc., etc. So... Yeah, like in this case here, the quest knight will come out here, connect to the banshee. That's fine, but unfortunately for him, we do carry a blue fireball, which will pop one of those questing knights. Fantastic stuff. Uh, and I guess at that point we can do the Drake into the priest as well. Pre uh, Drake putting in a lot of work for us this matchup. 
But yeah, things have evened out now. This is fantastic. We do hold a little bit more of a card advantage over our opponent, which is cool, but for how far that'll go, we'll see. Ugh. Not really getting a lot of our solid options into that hand, though. It is a bit disappointing. Hmm. I'm gonna have to hold this back a bit. Uh, let's see. This is... I think we can probably be safe throwing the dark bender here for now. Uh, yeah. I do need an undead unit though, fast. We just don't have. I mean, oh, I guess I could have done the curse of exhaustion to get a better trade out of the lumberjack. That's ah, fine. I think this will be better for us to just hold until he gets a lot of units on board like this. All right, that's interesting. Huh. Okay, so there's the armory of our own. I guess we can kind of just set it up. Uh, where, though, is a good call. I guess we can set it here. A suited to block as well. I guess we can fire the curse of... Ex uh, maybe we'll hold off another turn on the curse. Yeah, we'll hold another turn on the curse. See what exactly is in store. We are facing off against Druid here, so companions are a very real threat. Uh, he can double Centaur here, but it really to take out, what, the one Darkbender? Okay, there's another Global. There's a Priest. It's a little annoying, but fine. Arachnoth does a lot of things for us here, but we do need that one unit. He's gunning for the armory. Oi, oi, oi. We are armory gunning here. That's... Oh, that's... That's a hell of a card. Uh, How much does that hurt me, though? More than it hurts him? Hmm. I guess we can hold for him. Actually, ah... Uh, let's go ahead and pop the flame storm here. It does remove a priest, which is in a pretty weird position for us. And I guess we'll push the dark bender out a little more. Um, Holding the Masuda, just in case we need that as an extra buy to help clear off something. Again, not really feel the need to curse at this particular moment here, but that flame storm could cost us pretty heavily here. Yeah, there's another centaur that I kind of figured was coming make that too hey yep the worst possible outcome for us pretty much but I, there really wasn't much else i could do uh necro is cool although it doesn't accomplish a hell of a lot because again that's not a huge body that we're looking for or an undead body that we're looking for excuse me um but we do kind of have to just clean up the board here, unfortunately. I mean, just take the trades where we can. I guess we can curse now. We can make this a little less painful, but still. I wouldn't be surprised if we just die very closely right here. or following suit because we just could not establish a good board at all. Like, we were good in the beginning. I don't know what happened, but, ah, uh, you know, it do be what it do. Um, Arbiter, sure, comes down, yep. And again, Rakanoth can do Rakanoth could do things, but a second one in hand is not going to do it here. I'll allow the opponent to kill us off here. If he extends, though, you know what we do. Yep. Very good. Alright, fantastic. Um not the way that we wanted to go into match number two with this deck, but given the hand and the scenario that we were in, it just wasn't right for us to win anyway. It was gonna be another tough one. Uh anyway, with that being said, let's move to match number three and hope that we can turn this around. All right, and we're keeping it rolling to the next matchup here. Is again solid curve to open us up here. Jack, Imp, and Acolyte, all solid options. Uh, the show not so much, but hopefully we can utilize that a bit later in the game. Oh, Masuda might actually help us get there. Anyway, starting things off, the lumberjack here, nice and clean. Well, our opponent oh, actually didn't have a response. He was going first. If he had a lumberjack, he would have played it. No, but there is a Masuda. All right, Masuda is. Fine. I'll respond with the imp here to see if I can maybe burn it off in a bit of a cheeky manner. Um, Masuda in these colors is interesting. There is a green purple awaken that's been out there for a minute now. Um, although Masuda is just a nice generic ramp as well, being able to uh, 
do things like Master Thief, apparently. Uh, hooks is fine. Yeah, just putting out a lot of bodies here. That is fair. Um, hmm. It's a little concerning, though. I don't really have a way to get rid of the hooks. So that could do some nasty pull. Oh, uh, well, not anymore. Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of being a little bold. We're going to burn that off. It does have a bit of health, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, removing it the way I did. Uh-oh. Hello. Hello, Demon Hunter. Uh, I'm going to have you meet Acolyte, I think. Yeah. We'll do Acolyte stuff here. Into the Pegacorn. Pegacorn's an interesting choice. I only see him too often. Um. Hmm. There's a bit of a predicament here. Mainly the Pegacorn is just what's giving us trouble. I was hoping we could, like, Dragon's Fire, whatever he threw out, but... No, nah, it's not really the case. I think I have to... I think I have to kind of commit to a dragon's fire here. It's a little early, but I mean, it does help us get rid of the uh, demon hunter. And we can even throw out the zombie here as a blocker. Forcing the pegacorn to commit to a face attack. If he doesn't have any sort of way to remove it. Yep, pegacorn to face. Oh, should I just die to a conga line of dudes? All right, hold on. We don't want to die to a conga line of dudes here, so let's... Let's do some things. This is going to come out. Do this. Fear this. Send this back. Jack to do a thing. Pass it back. I'm going to have to get Shodan out, I think, at some point here. Because we are just going to die to the conga line of dudes. Okay, yeah, and there's the cannoneer. Cannoneer to face is fine. I think we're just going to have to do... I do want to set up Shodan here. It's just it's just the play I have to make. Um Yeah, I'll connect to here. Forego the face. Bring out Shodan. Hope that he can't murk it in any way. Although, does he want to really push Cannoneer up at this point? He has no follow-up. Okay, I'm wrong. He has follow-up of some kind. Oh, a second cannoneer. That's kind of dumb, though, no? Because, like, where does the... Where do you go from this point? Because I can just walk up here, right? Smack this. We burn the rat. Summon another zombie. Throw this up. Or this. Do that. Do the imp. He throw the, I saw the respect. I guess he doesn't have any follow-up here. I'm just going to kind of board up in case there's a Mordok in hand or some shit. Because I don't know how he's expecting lethal in these colors at this point. Minotaur, Moth. Oh, I mean, there, there's removal for our uh, Shodan. That's not great. We kind of have to make another push now. Oh, well. I mean, I'm marching some big boys down his face here. And yeah, not even going to move the rat. Oh, and there's a surrender. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a little bit uh, nerve wracking for a minute there. I mean, I thought we were just going to die to the endless conga line of dudes. We saw what, like the uh, the demon hunter into the pegacorn into the cannoneer. Ca I guess that was the line to end it. Cannoneer, cannoneer. But thankfully, we had the show and to just do the dirty work, run up, smack, cause the explosion, and kind of his whole strategy fell apart right there. So, all right, back on track after a uh, sketchy game number three. But let's go ahead and jump into number four. All right, and game number four underway. Lots of burn for this one, but I think we're going to have to drop a flamestorm, see if I can get something a little, a little bit better into a Rackinoth is not what I wanted. <sighs> well, here we are, folks. This is this is gameplay at its finest. <laughs> um, 
I mean, we have options. Oh, okay. Well, disintegrating my lumberjack prevents me from uh, an additional option. Thank you, sir. Very much appreciative of that. Uh, how about a faithful Drake? Please don't blue firebolt this. In before the blue firebolt. Oh, which bolt? Actually, that's fine. Gives me a card after all. Um, I guess I'll coin Dark Bender because I don't really have a better play to make. Uh, doing this to try to exhaust his resource. I think this is one of those no interaction esque burn decks, just in purple red. A lot of removal spells, and once you kind of force all those out of the hand, it's very easy to kind of just end the game at that point. So here we are going to take the four damage because this Dark Bender is subject to die. And I'm going to actually uh, not Flamestorm. We'll see if he has a follow up combo or something that he can hit off the. Dark Bender like Connors or something. No, Dark Bender of his own. Oh, boy. That's fine. Uh, we'll rock the Dark Bender back. I guess I'll Acolyte here as well. See if he's got more burn for our range boys. If not, we'll peek in, well, we can ping a Dark Bender and pop it with Blue Fire. Seems fine. Don't scope it. Oh, no, he's got a vampire. Ooh, vampire's a little sketchier, I will say. Hmm. I guess what I can do here, we can do this, can do this. We can pop the vampire, because that can lifesteal. We throw the zombie out to create two instances of... Uh, Destroying Darkbender, so we'll see if he commits that to anything else. Oh, pops the Acolyte with Darkbender, giving me the zombie. I guess it's Flamestorm for follow-up. No, Drake. Oh, Acolyte of his own, that's why. Oh, boy. Alright, options. Options, options, options are a front. Hmm... I guess I could just pop a flame storm here, right? It does clear off a couple of his things. Can go into like mm, blacksmith here, I guess. See if that procs any more uh, damage or removal spells. Kind of at a loss for what to do at this point. Okay, there's a Mordok. Not great for us. Ah, uh, that would be actually this is fine. Mordok into Mordok is a fine way to try and block it, but we do have a Mordok lunging in the following turn, which could be even more valuable. Or he can do that and be an absolute asshole about it. Hey, didn't get it on the range unit. You gotta give me a unit, chief. <laughs> now that's value. Alright, into the Sea Witch follow-uping there. That's fine. I think that means we're gonna have to do our little sneaky... Lunging Mordok here. Yeah, I don't really care about the Wraith. Uh, the Sea Witch is a bit more problematic, so we'll leave that to do its thing. Uh, he can Rackanoth here, but Rackanoth wouldn't do as much, I think, with just the Wraith. It would take out my Blacksmith. Oh, okay, there's Dragon's Fire. Okie dokie. Okay, don't give me the weakest one. I need stability on the board for Rackanoth game in my ass uh oh that's fine we can just show it in. i don't need to put it into the construct thankfully because of the movement buff it gains so literally just doesn't have to draw mercenaries execution and we're fine <laughs> yeah, a lot of things sir have backfired on you a bit quickly in this game a couple things just uh, just a couple um I guess for follow up we do Dark Bender. I'm hoping that we draw another undead unit so we can proc this Rackanoth. Again, like he feels like he shows up in a lot of my games, but because of the circumstances where he does show up, there's just nothing to use him with. Like we had a great setup for it last turn, but you saw there, Dragon's Fire is just a big pain in the ass and you don't get any value from it because of that. Like. <sighs> <laughs> And now this guy's gonna be salty, so... Oh, no, okay, no salt. Committing to Raka. Alright, I applaud you, sir. I applaud you. Um... 
This is kind of a problem for us, though. We don't really have a way to remove Mordok. I'm going to have to just pop into it here. I know that things are going to trigger first. And that's fine. Um... I guess I'll just kind of play out the hand a bit here. See where this goes. Rack is a very real possibility, so I'm like shaking a little bit, but the more I could have also just been like a last ditch attempt to scare me off. Okay, onslaught on. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah. Oh, I should have thrown the- No, I should have thrown the Banshee up closer. I was trying to be a little more, uh, hesitant with it, but... Damn. I guess I'll just go Keeper here at that point. Uh, we are winning the, uh, Sudden Death game, so there's no need to worry about that right now. We take out the Altar, because it does provide the undead for Rachnoth, as opposed to rats that are just... Rats. Uh, we've been through two Mordocks already. I'm not sure if there's a third in the Arsenal. Um... And we do just have Rackanoth next turn that we can just, I think, close out the game with. Uh, just running up the Banshee. As long as the spot's protected, we'll be fine. I think he's trying to figure out how that we can, or how he can navigate the situation. I mean, his priority has to be Banshee. Banshee is the proc for Rackanoth. If he understands, then he'll just look to pop that, but... I mean, in the hand, might not be a lot of good options. If he does allow me to go... Or if he does take out the Banshee but leave everything else, that's still five damage worth of units got hidden in the face here. Which you really can't afford to do. Hmm. Yeah, I don't envy this guy's position to be in in the slightest. I mean, you could just do the... Oh, don't tell me you're going to time out on me. Ah, you know, folks, when they want to time out because they go boohoo, boohoo, I can't clear the board. It's just a shame. It's, it's just a shame, but it's also a little too easy at that point. So let's go ahead, uh, close out this game. Guys, I'm getting another turn here. Uh, Banshee running in, Raka pops, boom, boom, four, and then Masuda Kane to whack you for some discipline. All right, not bad, not bad. Uh, messed up on the Rackanoth just a little bit, but I think we still walked away in that matchup fairly clean uh, for the most part. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into match number five, the last game for this deck's placements. Yes. All right, and last game uh, going up against Waz here. Respect the man for what he does on the ladder here. So should be a good game. Uh, going up against the green-yellow, though, is always a little bit sketchy. Uh, probably some greed stuff. I think he was running greed earlier on Cards TV. I was kind of scouting out beforehand, so that's fair. Fear for the rider. Kind of get some cycle going. Uh, not much we can do, given this early hand here. My god, dual Mordok into Shoden. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. All right, Maddie in two. Ah, oh, man, you really gotta do me dirty like that, huh? You really gotta do me dirty. I guess I'll just go with the blacksmith here. I don't really see a reason why we shouldn't. Because, I mean, we gotta... Oh, Lord. How are we gonna do anything in this matchup? At least not until, like, turn 8. Ooh. Alrighty. Um... Hmm... Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. I guess I'm going to go Drake here. Okay, and we lose the Drake. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's... Oh, boy. Um, I guess it's better than more face damage at the end of the day, man. But still... Uh... Yeah, now we're just going to face the uh, conga line of dudes here like we did in, like a few games ago. I don't really have a clear response to... I guess I can do that. We'll do the Masuda in the back here. I guess just pass on that. Uh, we're going to have to use this to cheat out the Shodan unless this gets burned. We haven't seen any spells from Waz yet. And at this point, I fear for my life. Yep, 
Yeah, these Mordocks are going to be what we really need, but God, we're not going to be able to get to them. Not the way this is going. Gonna have to do this. I'm doing to that. Gonna have to trade here. Again, trying to just control everything, but... Oh, uh, man. I mean, I think if we can survive to next turn, we might be fine, but it feels unlikely. Unless we can actually get a clear Necromancer shot into face here, but again... I don't seem like that's the case here. Oh, Ranger. Big man. Uh, and that is actually just lethal here. Shit. I gotta find a way to clear that. Which I can't, unfortunately. Uh. I guess, actually, we do have a kind of a... No, we don't. Because that's not enough to do the... Well, we go out on a brick, folks. That's That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> oh man um yeah that was just an endless conga line of dudes that fucking sucked what a terrible way to go for the deck but i mean when you get two mordocks and a shodan bricked up in your hand a dark bender from the get-go like everything was against us in that game ending off at a 31 12 that's fine you know ranking is i don't really care about anymore so uh, it's lower than it usually gets, but again, with the way we kind of lost that last game, I'm not surprised. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Let's go ahead and close this, uh, close this up. All right, folks, and with that being said, I think that is going to wrap up today's video. Purple Red Rockin' Off. Hope you guys did enjoy the games. You did. Be sure to let me know what you guys thought of them by leaving them down in the comment section below. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already, uh, or if you are new here. It's best that you can show your support the channel. After all, we are just about 20 subs off of our 1K goal, which is absolutely, absolutely incredible. So, uh, yeah, I think that is going to wrap it up for me, though. So... Until next time, guys, stay gaming.